Kristen Atchison here, and I'm going to go over my favorite way to do a sums of square. So given a data set, such as here, we have 1, 2, 5, 6, and 6. Each of these values is an x. So we'll do 1, 2, 5, 6, and 6. And again, there are many different ways to do a sums of square. This is just my preferred method. Again, there are formulas that you can use that you don't have to necessarily kind of do this out. Um, <clears throat> But I really like this way because I can keep track of everything very nicely. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is talk about what these different things mean. So x is our individual value. x minus mean, we've got our um, Latin mean here, our Latin m here. So we know that we're talking about the mean of the sample. So we're going to take the average of these scores. So let's add together 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 6, and that gives us a sum of 20. We have five scores, so we'll divide this by 5, and that gives us a mean of 4. Okay? So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take each of these scores, and we're going to subtract the mean. So we have 1 minus 4, 2 minus 4, 5 minus 4, 6 minus 4, 6 minus 4. Okay, so 1 minus 4, and we get negative 3. 2 minus 4, we get negative 2. 5 minus 4, we get 1. 6 minus 4, we're going to get 2 and 2. Okay, now the final thing that we're going to do is we are going to square each of these values. So here it says that we square this value, okay? So three squared is nine, two squared is four, one squared is one, two squared is four, two squared is four. And remember this is called the sum of the squares. So literally what we're going to do is we're going to add these squares together, okay? So we'll take nine plus four, plus 1, plus 4, plus 1, oops, sorry, plus 4, and we get 22. Let's check our work. 9 plus 4, plus 1, plus 4, plus 4, again, 22. So the sums of square of the values 1, 2, 5, 6, and 6 is 22. Again, there are lots of other ways to do sums of squared. This is just my preferred method. If you're in one of my classes, this, um, these tables, these blank sums of squared tables are available for you on your e-learning platform. Thanks.